Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward called the meeting with ancillary staff, namely caretakers, watchmen, and janitors, to express his appreciation for the work that they do and to discuss the challenges they encountered in performing their duties with a view to finding ideal solutions much to the benefit of the education sector. The minister stressed on the important role that ancillary staff played alongside school management in achieving the school mandate while keeping students, teachers and principals comfortable and safe. For us to have a solid education system, all of us must work together and your role should not be trivialized. In other words, we have to take what you do seriously. If our school security initiatives do not work, our schools get vandalized, people destroy the schools, government must find monies to fix the schools. And that money could have been used to do something else. Minister Edward engaged ancillary staff in two meetings, one held in the north of the island and the other in the island south. For their part, ancillary staff were quite open in discussing the issues they face on a day-to-day -day basis, with some even making suggestions on the way forward. I have a suggestion. I don't know if it will work, but I will suggest, Mr. Minister, that every security that works at a school during the day, they should have a form of identification. If there is a card, a little piece of paper, you chuck on your shirt, Something so that people, when you walk in, the person can say, okay, that's the security, the person come to you, and then, good morning, sir, I'm going to the principal, blah, 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 blah. I think that is the one complaint I have. My issue is that, Minister, Mr. Minister, we have competent watchmen. Why don't the um, government get in touch with the police and try to at least train the watchmen, instead of talking about them privatizing things that are in all over the place? We need medical for ourselves, medical, because the moment that you can throw up there is a virus, we can quickly get that virus. While expressing the ministry's commitment to addressing challenges faced on the job by ancillary staff, the minister advised that those issues should not deter them from performing their duties to the best of their abilities. I want to encourage you to take pride in what you do. You are making a meaningful contribution to the development of your country. And I know if we had the means, we would have been giving you a lot more than you are receiving today. And it is with people like you in mind that we have moved to establish what we call a minimum wage. It is with people like you in mind we have moved to increase the pension that people are getting in this country. Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus Sipal, who was also part of the meeting, thanked the ancillary staff present for attending the meeting, which is the first of its kind on the island, and as well praised their contribution towards student well-being within the school system. The institutional knowledge that you have, the wisdom that you have, you cannot get that from a book, and then we cannot just simply put you on the side and then expect that we who may have the, the, the degrees or whatever we have, and we think that we know it well. So let me tell you something, ancillary staff. We will continue to treat you as number one. We will continue to see you as um, very pivotal in the education process. And with that minister at our side, you will continue to see us making you and having you as number one. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward, who earlier in the year met with school cooks, under the school feeding program, also disclosed his intention, in like manner, to meet with bus drivers under the school transportation subsidy program in order to strengthen the program and the service provided by bus drivers to the schools. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.